sagst du zu dem Wagen da? Ein totschickes Ding, was? Mach du immer mit deinen Autos. Ich möchte frühstücken. Ach, du denkst immer nur ans Essen. Celebrating the company's 100th anniversary in 2016, BMW's automobiles, SAVs, and motorcycles today rank among the best handling and performing vehicles on the world's roads. Headquartered in Munich, Germany, the company sells nearly 2 million vehicles each year. BMW stands for Bayerische Motorwerke, or Bavarian Motor Works, and, as the name would have one understand, the engine has played a central part in the company's evolution from aircraft engine manufacturing in the early days to today's high-performance M engines. Following the merger of two companies, the Gustav Auto Works and the Rapp Motor Works, Bavarian Motor Works was represented by the now iconic BMW Roundel, a circle inscribed with BMW and intersected by white and blue hemispheres representing the Bavarian skies. Many records were set with the company's aircraft engines, including the world's altitude record of 32,021 feet. Six years later, BMW introduced the R32, the company's first motorcycle. In 1928, automobiles began production using a British Austin 7 under license as its basis. A 1929 Austin 7 Chummy can be seen in the Peterson Automotive Museum's collection. As years progressed, including two world wars, BMW continued to develop and produce some very fine automobiles, but the cars were scarce in the United States. Even though Max Hoffman, the original importer of many European manufacturers, championed models like the sporty BMW 507, very few Americans had BMW on their shopping list. That began to change in April of 1968 when the editor of Car and Driver magazine, David E. Davis, wrote an article entitled, Turn Your Hymnals to 2002. <laughs> Stoling the virtues of the BMW 2002, Davis turned a generation to BMW with words like, To my way of thinking, the 2002 is one of modern civilization's all-time best ways to get somewhere sitting down. It grabs you. You sit in magnificently adjustable seats with great tall windows all around you. You're comfortable and you can see in every direction. Willing and unlumpy is how it feels. No rough idle, no zappy noises to indicate that the task you propose might be anything more than child's play for all those 114 Bavarian superhorses. Depress the clutch, easy, like there was no spring. Snick, first gear. Remove weight of left foot from the clutch. Place weight of right foot on accelerator. The minute it starts moving, you know that Fangio and Moss and Tony Brooks and all those other big racing studs retired only because they feared that someday you'd have one of these. And when that day came, you'd be indomitable. And they were right. You are indomitable. <laughs> What Davis felt behind the wheel of that 2002 continues to be engineered into every BMW to this day, and in 1973, the newly formed BMW of North America hired an advertising agency, Amoretti & Puris, that summed it all up in four words, the ultimate driving machine. What's your BMW story? Thanks for joining us for this deep dive into BMW.